Okay, we are back. Sheesh. Man, talk about that freaking terror moment there. Fuck. Like, no joke. I was like, but I was like, as soon as like things started working, I was like, uh, um, uh, fuck, fuck. What the hell? What the fucking hell? You know, shit. Okay, so anywho. Let's find out what's going on here. I think I stage like grabbed the spot. Fucking silver? What the hell are you here for? You're that good my dad's from before, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> He's dedicates he dedicates all his time to your little He dedicates all your time to your little gang. And now it's all falling apart. Number one in the world? He can't even defend himself against the littlest things. What a joke. Oh. You didn't hear yet, did you? Ha! Ah. Well, don't let me spoil the bad news for you. The fuck, you little shit? Ah, fuck. Boss is calling. Better report to HQ and sell it on. Fools! Garatina take you all! This child! He wiped out every single one of you, found his way to the president's room, and ran off with the master ball prototype! <laughs> Shit just got fun! I gotta adjust myself here a little bit. In front of your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. What do you have to say for yourselves? What? A public humiliation of this scale. Can anyone ever look at Team Rocket the same way again? Tell me, you morons. Are we the mightiest gang of, of mobsters in this region? Or a bunch of little girls? Ronnie. The mightiest gangsters in Kanto! That's what we are! Aye aye, boss! We'll show that little kid next time we- you betcha! Silence! Heep! You... You worthless, simply simple-minded, little bad egg. I've given you more warning than you deserve, Grunt. Yet you seem to be able to be relentless in your incompetence. Take a key card. To take a key card that wasn't even yours to use. Then drop it right in front of the child so he could ruin our plans as thoroughly as possible. Oh, Ronnie fucked up. I didn't realize he was the dude that was carrying the key card. Imbecile. Moron. Were it not for you, that twerk might have never reached us. And the Master Ball would have been in our hands right now. Do you understand? No, boss. It wasn't like that, see? Enough! That's enough. 
I've had enough. Needle King. Needle King, prepare for attack. Leave us. Leave us, you worthless scum. You are not worthy of the odd that's printed on your chest. If I ever see your face again, I'll grind you into berry powder. Mark my words, I will. Be gone! You fucked up, dude. This is on you. <laughs> <laughs> no matter no matter boys and girls because one thing is for sure this red twerp he has messed with us for the last time hear me we will relocate Team Rocket's headquarters to the Viridian Gym. Evacuate this building immediately. Admins, executives. That means the next time your Rocket Pager beeps, you will report to the Viridian Gym pronto. When this child comes to seek his final gym badge, we will be ready. All of us. And by God, we will have our revenge. <clears throat> Do I make myself clear? Then move, Team Rocket! Is anyone even here then? He's already gone. He is already gone. Which means everything is free game. Let's take a look around. I saw it first. Thanks, Kingry. You missed it, buddy. Uh, Ronnie got hit in the face with, and I died, uh, disappeared. What the fuck? There we go. Anywho, Ronnie got hit in the face. He got in the face. He got in the. Hit. He got hit in the face by Giovanni, and that's it turned out he was the dude that fucked up. He was the one that had the key card in the original game. Uh, the key card that you needed for to be able to swipe through in the uh, sa in the Saffron City Gym or the Saffron Tower.
Oh, excuse me. Oh no, dude. He got smacked by Nido King. He got smacked by Nido King and was and was disbanded from uh, from the organization. Right? Like he called him out. I was like, do you realize that this was your fault? You are the reason why that little asshole beat us? Yeah, I'm gonna steal one of yours. Um, what sounds good, guys? Magmar or Rapidash? Let's steal. The, let's take the Magmar. Shit, I forgot what number we're at. I don't need a fire type, really. I totally forgot what number we're at. Let's go 45. Why? Because I don't fucking know. Yeah, I really need to check. I really should have checked. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You're a spoiled executive. I've been here for years and they never gave me as much as an HM. Well, it sucks for you. So no, the team's not disbanded. They just abandoned the where the Celadon City warehouse and they had moved all to the Viridian Gym. Okay. Oh shit, I have two twenty nines. Fuck. Oh no. Sorry. Wait, hold on, I'm confused. Where am I at? 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so, okay, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Okay, so I'm at 48? No, there's 49. 50, 51, 50, I have two 52, so 53. I don't Okay, I guess I don't have a 54. Man, I went way off. <laughs> Yeah, so we're missing 54, and then it's 56.
So 54, 56, and... Yeah, then 57, so... So that was something, another number that we had. Hold on. Okay, hold on. So 50, 51, 52, 53, 55, so I need 54. Yeah, because I, I have a... Uh, Nidoran that's 57. I don't know why I thought that was a different number. So, 57... Yeah, because we have a 55 here. So... Okay, so then, yeah, never mind. So, Krabby is 55, uh, 54, Magmar is 56. Okay, we are good to go. Man, you don't keep track of Pokemon that we stole. It's harder, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, then the next one will be 58. Reorganize this. Okay, hold on. First, let's put twenty seven back in the party. That's what I'm doing, actually. I'm going to take a... Uh, excuse me for a few minutes as I uh, take a few minutes to reorganize. Oh, son of a bitch. I have 249s. Really? Ah, fuck it. We'll just leave it. Actually, no, I could, I could switch, I could switch it out to be, uh, 58. It was, uh, Cedra. Let's do a Cedra. That will make, we'll make that one 58. Uh, 
Ugh, I wish this could have a multi-choice so I can just pick up the ones I need. And transfer them all to one box. But multi-choice, I didn't come to the 3Ds! To the 3D games! I imagine people being hecka confused. <laughs> Just coming in and being like, wait, how, why are they numbered? Why are those blocks called repeats? And why are their names numbers and some of them are letters? Wait a minute. I don't have an electrode. Ah, shit. And then again, in box, so we have two... Wait, I have two C-Kings in here? Son of a bitch. I have three C-Kings in here! Fuck! Wait, was there a number in... Son of a bitch! Thank you for the eye. Wait, hold on. Paris is 39. Who's my 39? <laughs> Sorry about that. I gotta know who's my 39. Okay, pony time. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. I are good now. Let's separate the renames in a different box. That's what they're called repeats! Ah, oh, I see what you mean though. Yeah, put them in their own separate box. Wait, what? I'm about ready to give up, guys. In all honesty, I'm about ready to say fuck it. Because we pretty much got our team. At this point, we're just going to be just stealing them, but we'll, have to, we'll just have to do our best to remember which ones are which. No, wait, no. We've been we stuck with this so far. If we're almost to the end, we gotta at least stick it to, to the end.
I'm putting the renames down here, so... We could probably take an hour doing this. I'm trying not to take an hour, okay? I promise you I am not trying to. No, I don't care about the organization of the repeats. I'm literally just picking up, like, just picking them up and putting them in the box. I love how the very last letter for this, for the repeats, is a, is a Pikachu. Number Z. Wait. Why not repeat? Derp. Yeah, that's what I was saying like a few minutes ago, King Girl's like, I wish we had a multi-selection. But does it come later till the multi until the fucking till the 3D games? Or was it sooner than that? I don't know. Okay, so we have four. So we need 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Wow, okay. Fifty, uh, fifty-six. Oh, there are fifty-seven, sorry. We have 57, so we have 55, 57, so we have 56, 58, 59, and 60. Son of a bitch. Thank you. Okay, so we need 57, 50, so we need 58, 59, and 60. Yes, 58 and onward. What? No, I don't need a nickname number name. No, 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 no. Whew. Would you like to give it a nicer name? <laughs> Congratulations, Electrum. You've been promoted from a letter to a number. <laughs> We may or may not call upon you.
There we go. I know this started as a joke, but I'm glad we committed to this bait. Yes! As am I. <laughs> These are the Pokemon next door. This literally turned to, in a funny way, it has turned into like the kids next door, but with Pokemon. Yeah, so next up now will be number 61. You know, I had the Firestone for a reason, but I don't know what it was for. Okay, so you're talking about... Okay, so she said the same thing as last time. Good grunt. I don't want to give you in the return for being the badass. Sorry, I keep on tracking. Wait, what's going on? Howdy there, pretty boy. Welcome to Pokemon Black Market. Got any stolen Pokemon you like to sell? Ooh. That's one way to make money. I guess we could have taken the repeats and sold them. Oh. That's one thing we could have done. Fuck. How much money would I got for some of those? <clears throat> Hello, Grunt. I'm sorry to say I don't have a new mission for you yet. Stay strong. Make them fear us in the streets. And if crisis come, I'll call on you. Don't you worry, Grunt. We'll make it through, the, through this yet. Hmm. Should I? Fuck it. They're still kicking me out. Right now we're supposed to be technically uh, looking for stuff for like, um, Bill and them to help capture the, the one Pokemon that got away that they made. The one before Mewtwo, so.
A Pikachu's worth a thousand dollars? An Oddish is worth fifteen hundred. I just wanted to see like how much it would be co how much it would cost. You know what I mean? Can I sell my last one? Okay. So depending, I guess it's depending on their level or level or whatever the rarity is. So the materials we need excellent hey you old slackers We're ready for production well it's done beautiful little thing don't you think now, enough messing about. Here's what we're gonna do, and listen carefully. The Pokemon we're looking for? There's only one person in the world who knows where it is, or where it's certainly hiding. And that person's name is Shiki. Wait, who? Who the f she get, why am I not moving? Oh my god, not this crap again. Hang on, something's up with my model here. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay, what the hell? Why can't I, like... Come on. Okay, for some reason it's not. Whoa, hello, croc shot again. Man, talk about a weird freaking 
This thing's finicky. This program's been finicky. Okay. So there we go. I I'm back. I gotta go on again. So, who the fuck is Shiki? Or Shiki, Shiki Kai? That's right, Grunt. Shigiki was the last of the scientists who worked with us on the Mewtwo project. Trouble is, of course, nobody's seen the guy about ten. No one's seen the guy for about ten years. For all we know, he could be dead. We'd be none the wiser. So, how about we go about, go about finding an old missing genetic scientist without a clue of his whereabouts? Any guesses? Hmm. Mewtwo would know where he is. Bingo, old man. And uh, why is that? What's the use in hiding something? Use in hiding anything anymore? Ah, what's the use in what's the use in hiding anything anymore? When we merged our DNA together, the five of us, to create Mewtwo, it created some kind of psychic bond between us and the clone. Who knows what? Who knows how it did it? But it became a clip clear pretty quick that Mewtwo could read our thoughts and our emotions with impeccable accuracy. I don't know why he changed his voice. <laughs> Even if we are far away, there was a constant mental link between each, each of the five scientists and the newborn Pokemon. We suspect that how, how it, we suspect that how it realized so quickly that we had created it for war and why it subsequently ran away. Well? Who knows if the bond between us hasn't worn off after all these years? I'm sure it must have. But either way, you two can point us towards Shiki's whereabouts. It must know where he ran off two decades ago. But, Phil. This is Mewtwo we're talking about. How in the world would we... Ah, hold it right dear my... Ah, hold it right dear my dear, Fu dear Fuji. Grunt? The ball I just gave you is nothing but a more powerful standard Pokeball. It cannot capture Mewtwo without its consent. But, it, but does Mewtwo know that? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, Grunt, go to Cerulean Cave and seek out Mewtwo. Battle it and make it tell you where Shiki is hiding. Threaten to capture it if, you, if it refuses to tell you. It may hate us humans, but it hates being, ca being kept, cap in uh, kept in captivity even more. Look, you're the strongest tra trainer here, Grunt. And frankly, Mewtwo would never say a word to any of our faces. Not not to save itself. So keep the Master Ball with you. But don't use it yet. Save it for the Pokemon we're really after. Well then, to Cerulean Cave! You'll find the northwest corner of Cerulean City. We're all counting on you, Grunt. So in other words, I am boned. So, in this timeline, they made a Pokemon that was prior to Mewtwo. If I had a guess, I'd probably going to say it's the glitched one. 
it's the one that we classify as we call the glitch. You know? Yeah, miss and go. Miss and no. I forgot what his name was for a second. This is Cerulean Cave. Nobody enters here with the permission of the Pokemon cha champion. Yeah, what? Look, I don't care what fairy tale you heard about what's inside here. Rules are rules, buddy. Hey, I, I said keep out, punk. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, how cute. You're gonna use a pincer. I didn't even put my evil face on. I think I did damage. And they got one shotted. You'll regret this. Uh, no, I'm not. Now, I know we don't have a pincer, so I'm gonna take that pincer. Yoink! Sixty one. They stationed me here for what for for your own safety, you know. And the thing in there chews you up and spits you out, that's on you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I came to Mount Moon in search of mushroom Pokemon. I really just came over here for the item, but if, I'm gonna, but if you're here, then I'm gonna steal your Pokemon. Already have you. I don't have Jinx, so.
Uh, more than likely. As much as I hate to have it, but yeah. Nugget. Forest door. Max elixir. At least, train, at least training here wouldn't be so bad. It won't be totally bad. Seriously? Is there another path that I miss? Uh, here at least. Counter? Screw this. Okay, another max revive. Eh, 
Hey, cool, an Ultra Ball. <laughs> what if I were to use the Ultra Ball to catch the Mewtwo? Oh man, I would really fuck up the timeline. Oh hey, Shay, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, wasn't expecting this. That was way easier than I remember it being. So. Hold on, I want to get the voice right. <clears throat> so, you've come. I was waiting for you, Grunt. The scientist who sent you here, who thought my psychic powers weakened in the years past. They are widely mistaken. I am stronger, sharper, Deadlier than I ever was. You're nothing to, you have nothing to threaten me with. Even if the master ball would what, you wield could work against me, I could cut off the arm you threw you throw it before the first co construction uh con con blah blah of your muscle. But that would give me little pleasure. Instead. Give me an exchanging, forceful, fair Pokemon battle. And I will tell you what you came here to find out. Oh, how I long for a challenging battle. Like an infant craving its mother's milk. Eh. That's a little gross, buddy. These impulses I was given they made a decade an eternity with no worthy enemy to put my dormant powers to bear against on guard trainer give me your all okay you're level 70 shit you know what I probably should have guessed that Yeah, fair. All right, number three. Oh, come on, really? So far, he only has one other attack. So he had light screen, reflect, and psychic. Eh, whatever it was is gone. Eh, whatever it was, not gonna matter. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. Ah, very well, Grunt. You've humored me better than I thought you were capable. I'll tell you what you need to know. 
the Pokemon my pre my creators seek is the one they call the catastrophe. And Shiki indeed knows where it's hiding. And where is Shiki hiding? In plainer sight than any former colleague would believe. Shiki, you see, was an old man in the days when they when they gave me birth. When that war of yours finally came to an end, disgusted, fearful, from the things he had done and seen, he ran away. He abandoned all his ties to his past life as a scientist, far away from the public eye. For a quiet, secluded life with his granddaughter, hoping the demons of his misdeeds would never haunt him again. <laughs> yes. These days, you see, Cheeky is. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! What the fuck? Oh. That is bullshit! An inconspicuous old citizen in Viridian City Notably, to his neighbors, only for his frequent drunken bouts and his habit for needlessly showing passable youngsters how to capture their first Pokemon. Yes, he knew where he knows where it is. That disgusting failed experiment of a Pokemon Bill is after. If you truly wish to find it, to capture it at last, speak to Shiki in Viridian City. He will show you the way. That is all, Grunt. Leave me now to train for my next worthy challenger. I will see you again when you've grown much stronger than you are. Oh my god, they gave that fucking asshole a fucking backstory. <laughs> Oh, that is too brilliant. Oh, that is just fucking amazing. Also, it's funny how uh, my freaking our choice of Umbreon was our pretty much our saving grace there. If he had any other attacks other than Psychic, I probably would have been fucked. But then again, I did have all of the like max max revise and everything ready for just that occasion. Cashing Pokemon, do you? No. Now, what's that there, son? Caratina, take me! I knew this day would come sooner or later. That's right, young man. My name is Shiki. Although it's been decades since anybody called me by that name. Come inside if you would. You never know who might be listening in. Well, well, well. After all these years, confronted not by lads, but by Team Rocket. So Phil sent you. I should have seen it coming. My dear Rocket, I... I will give you the information you are seeking, but please keep my whereabouts to yourself. 
I have a family to protect. Do you promise me that? Mm. Ah, yeah, fuck it. He... Thank you, young man. I will not forget your kindness. So, I suppose it is time for me to come clean. You'll know the story, I suppose, of, of the Mewtwo Project. But somehow amidst our failed attempts to clone Mew, a brilliant idea occurred to me one day. To rearrange samples of Mew genes into a computer program. Yep, it's missing number. I convinced the others to create a software program akin to Porygon. One we could program to do exactly what we wanted. It would be our ultimate war machine. <sighs> but a project that uh, a project that size with only the five of us. There were bound to be bugs in the program. I knew as much, but I didn't realize the magnitude of these glitches. Until the first specimen was ready before our eyes. The catastrophe. It was about an abomination. Powerful, yes. But erratic and uncontrollable. It was as if its presence would distort the fabric of reality. No shit, Sherlock, that's why I'm here. Like nothing we have ever seen. It was clearly too much to handle. As you probably already know, it made its escape in a violent frenzy. Thankfully, I had wireless safety me mechanisms in place to stop it. The monster didn't get far, but I was able to immobilize it and put it to sleep. I told the others I had everything under control, but they asked me where where the creature lay dormant, I said I didn't know. But the truth was, I knew all too well. It was just, I was just too scared to admit to all these powerful people that the catastrophe was hiding right under our noses. Right along the eastern shore of the Cinnabar Island, Frozen beneath the Ulf ocean surface? I presume it would only be a matter of time before the creature would find a way to break free from the remote control protection systems. But it still hasn't. It was a stupid, reckless thing to create. It traumatized us all of to be happy. All to have been so close to unleashing such an uncontrollable monster upon the world, and nobody would trust me to do anything but by myself after all. Excuse me, but that's all in the past. For the present, young man, if it's really the other scientists' intention to finally lay that matter to the matter to rest. Then I will deactivate the safety mechanism that are keeping it a dormant. And leave you free to capture the monster. It would clear my conscience tremendously to know it's been dealt with. But if you fail, I don't know what havoc the creature could wreck upon the region. There will be no turning back. So. Are you ready to capture the catastrophe rocket? Sorry, I'm like bunching on Smarties at the same time here. Yes, very well. I will deactivate the software that's keeping it frozen. May Arceus be with us. <laughs> Hit it within a TV, nice. Now, go Rocket! 
fly to Cinnabar Island and surf along its eastern shore. Capture the vile creature and lay its matter to rest once and for all. Oh shit! Um. Hello, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the Pokemon world of Pokemon. My name is. Sweet mother of Arceus! Shit has gotten fucked! Missing now. It will no longer be a missing number, for I shall give it a number. Number 63. Okay, psychic type. Got it. Missing numbers, na missing numbers, name. <laughs> you should now be known as number 63. Ah. Uh... Whew. Uh, not sure who. Yeah, no, I got place to repeat, but that's okay. Terrific, terrific grunt. Okay, no, it's okay. No, that has to be Bill. Terrific, terrific grunt. I knew we could count on you. Oh, that's missing number. To think it was actually right here all along. Truly terrific. No, we have played our lives long and uh, with ju you juveniles. God, when I saw the island change shape. Earlier, I thought for sure we were done for. Now, let's end the madness and have the beast destroyed. Right, what's it for all, eh? You off your rocker, old man. What a waste that would be. Why just imagine the power? Oh, I didn't. I wanted to read it. He could dominate his way to the top of Team Rocket. He would have a chance against the Elite Four, even. Who in the world could stop us now? <laughs> It's a shame Blaine had to go. Blaine had uh, Blaine had to go to his gym to face some challenger. Just wait till he sees this. Uh, he's here. That's enough of that. 
If all of you are going to keep that beast around, I'll stay away as far away as I can. I'm done with you all, and you never saw me here. God. You'll say they have no care for politics, Bill? But you are as rotten as the rest of them. Oh, Fuji. Why did you grow so naive? You were such a bold, sharp scientist once. Team Rocket, the Elite Four. Don't you realize there are bigger powers at play here? Oh, hey, Blue. Say, what's, go what's all the commotion? Hey, you're that Rocket from the Pokemon Tower. Yeah, my, you've changed. I just heard all these strange sounds coming from outside, man. See, I was busy wiping that floor with the old gym leader here. I thought for sure it might have been some legendary Pokemon or other, so I rushed out to come see. Say what? You you captured it, Rocket? Ah, that's too bad for me then. Could you show me what it looks like at least? No. It can't be. I've seen that Pokemon before. But that was like a long time ago. You? You've seen Missing Number? That's impossible. Where? Where did you see it? Speak up, kid. Oh, jeez. I don't remember it very clearly. I was just a kid. I was in a large basement area under Grandpa's lab where he was doing all these experiments. Of all the strange Pokemon I saw, I remember that one. Freaky. What basement area? In all my years collaborating with Professor Oak and his research, I never... Oh, wait. I think that's... I think that's Bill. I never heard any of this section about this section of his lab. Could it be the... The secret lab he talked about all those years ago? Well, gee, I don't know anything about this stuff. Come to think of it, I haven't been down there in many years. Grandpa used to never leave the place when I was a little kid. I think he used to press a button on his bookshelf and the way the basement would open up. Say, is there something uh, dodgy going on here I should know about? That's it. There's no question. Oh, why didn't you say all of this earlier, you stupid kid? We need to go to Oak's lab in Pallet Town. Post haste. This could be the key to everything. Gret, you lead the way. Until we've got something real pin on Oak, we'll have to rely on some pretty on some petty burglary. Heal up if you can, but get moving to Pallet Town. I mean, I don't have a psychic. Well, eh. maybe. I don't know. I, I wouldn't count number forty-three as a. Is it classified as psychic type as well? Hold on. Ah, it is a psychic type. Damn it. No, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Who would get rid of though? I mean, in terms of level wise, number eight, no, thirteen is the is the weakest, but it's been a, it's a good attacker. In all honesty, but number thirty five is stronger. Or should we just switch it out with Starmie? Because we've... No, wait, no, we're going to need Starmie later. Wait, who's the one that has strength? Let's look at 60... Let's look at number 63 first.
All right, let's take a look here. So it's a flying type. Flying and unknown. Sky attack, super glitch, psychic, and confuse ray. And dude, glitches in the fabric of reality. It often freezes the foe. If we were to put number 63 in, we would essentially need to remove number 8 because he's also a flying type, flying poison. Um, but if we just go based off power alone, number 27 would be the one we would need to remove because out of every other Pokemon here, other than number 3, because number 3 is our boy, our starter, Everyone serves a kind of serves a purpose. I want to say. Hold on. Let me double check because we're gonna need at least three big, uh, three big choices: surf, strength, and fly. And okay, so we have fly and surf, but no one else has strength. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Unless we actually don't need it. Do we need surf out? I don't know if we're getting, I don't know if we need to like traverse into the plateau. That's great. I'll just take out 27. We should check on Daisy. You! Leave this in innocent town now this minute, or I'll call the police. The scratches from your companions are ugly rats haven't healed. I'll have you know. Uh, sorry about that. Speaking of which, where the fuck is that asshole? We were told to check Oak's research lab, right? Let's fly, let's fly back to Cinnabar and talk to Blue. Okay, so we actually have to break in. With what? It's not like we have like a rock on hand. Did they? Did they what? I, I, I'm confused.
Do I have a crowbar? Um... You know, I don't know. Let me double check my list. Son of a bitch, I do! I forgot I had that crowbar. It's that meddling pink hair rocket again. We're being robbed. Y you stay away from our from this lab schedule. I'll say. It's like us can bring you down, no problem. Brace yourself. <laughs> bring it, bitch. Bring it. Also, nice timing there, King Wolf. I guess he did. Also, you, I just realized something. Is our EV like the only dark type EV right now in this game? Cause I have yet to run into another dark type. Did we, did we pass the Hound Hour? I don't remember. I don't remember if we passed Hound Hour, if we, if we ran into a Hound Hour at some point or not. I don't remember. Excuse me. Number six number sixty three is a uh, missing number or missing no. Number 63 is number 63. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Let's take his hypno, because I think I don't I don't have a hypno, so therefore that will be number 64. Oh wait, what did he say? I'm just an aide. I'm just doing my part. Professor Oak will not stand for this. I'll have you know. Go run away like a bitch. Yeah, no, you you honestly, uh, King Wolf literally missed the one of the big reveals for this game, and it was actually kind of funny. Oh, you actually want to go? 
The professor told us to lock the door to keep thugs like you out. I don't want to fight you, but... Like my mother used to say, always be safe. So, you remember... So, I'm not sure if you remember, the, like, how the story kind of went, King Wolf, how Mewtwo was created by five scientists. But after the war, one, one of the scientists went missing. That's one of my spreadies. Hold on. <laughs> I see number sixty five. Yeah, one of the, uh, the scientists that ran away uh, lived, decided to live his life in just peace and harmony, grew older, and turned out to be the man who, the man, the old man of Viridian City. Should I? I should give him a test run. Oh, what? Oh, that's not fair because it wasn't my Pokemon. I saved right after that fight. Oh, yeah, I should have swapped and had a chance. Eh, screw it.
Yeah, I got no clue. I would've, I would've laughed if that was the case, to be honest. If that was the case, I will laugh if this ha if it happens again, if it, if it happens again, though, we will know it wasn't his fault. Nope, it's, ah, it's Flash Cannon. Ah, damn it. So, there's a bug in this game that if uh, Magneton uses Flash Cannon, it breaks, it for some reason breaks the game. I wonder if, if I wonder if there. Okay, here we go. Oh, thanks for reminding me to blink. It's saying that my it's saying there was that. Let's see. There's there's nothing. They they said that there's no. Hang on, maybe if I can find a patch here.
Let's see. Okay, so apparently there's a update to my freaking game, to my little GBA here that I never knew about. Uh, hold on. Okay, so real quick here, guys. I'm just gonna close this here. Because apparently there's a 10.0 version out of for this. Which we are gonna do that real quick here. Need to change the destination of this, but okay, let's put this over here. Okay. Well, let's give this a shot. Here we go, guys. Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, whoops. Ah, whatever. Never mind, that needs to be fixed. <laughs> that needs to be retconned.
All right, moment of truth. I'm not gonna find out. Did, did you not feel anything? Nope, not a thing. Speed watch, mine. Outrageous. We just doing our job. Yeah, and now I'm doing mine. So who's the bad guy here? Oh, you don't have the starters. I I I don't know what you could possibly want in this lab thief. We're not hiding anything. We're clean. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, and I don't. And I don't have blood on my hands. One of us is lying. And I'm pretty sure it's not me. And I'm pretty sure it's not me. Mini. What the hell? Crush! Jump! Alright, here we go. Shot, fuck. Ah, uh, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. But guess what? My boulder, my boulder does four times damage. <laughs> So, 
Yeah. Poke around you all you like. There's nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Damn it, when Hulk finds out. Hey, I'll be right back real quick, guys. Found my water. Found my water. The statue, the statue who's glowing. Ooh. Okay, I was going to read that anyway, so... <clears throat> Diary, January 6, 1980... Oh, wow, we're in... 2.35 2 a.m. The Mewtwo project is bound to fail, but my colleagues refuse to see it. The missing number was just that the ca uh, cannery in the coal... The caner was just a canary in, in, a, in the coal mine. Pokemon clone of Mew, however sophisticated, can never be controlled. The others have all refused to back down. So I henceforth start, uh, start a scientific project of my own. If I cannot save Kanto, nothing can. That's it? Motherfucking dead him. A level fifty motherfucking dead him. Yeah, I already have a ditto, I think. At least I think I do.
February 14th, Valentine's Day, 1985. There's a fatal flaw in the logic underlying the Mewtwo project. Yes, there is an immense potential for genetic engineering, no doubt. And we've correctly isolated the genes responsible for aggression in, uh, sociopath, pathy. But what good are they? In the body of a Pokemon that cannot be reasonable, reasoned with. In war times, chaos makes people focus on raw muscle power to the exclusion of everything else. They forget that we are not savages. Okay. Evil light, okay. I forget, was evil, is evil light meant for like, stage, like stage one Pokemon or not fully maxed out? And why did I just like stop moving? Hold on. There we go. What, what the fuck? There we go. Now we're moving. Now we're moving. Ah, okay. Thank you. February 29th, 1985. Why have Pokemon grow to be such a dominant... A dominating force in society? Not by the individual power alone. I don't know why I changed his voice all of a sudden. <clears throat> Left of their own devices, Pokemon are passively simply minded creatures. Above all, there's nothing that determines the strength of a pack of Pokemon. Again, I don't know why I changed his voice either on that one. I don't know. Okay. Is the, intel is the intelligence, the discipline, and the leadership of the humans that control them, a Pokemon can o is only as strong as its master. Are you going to try to tell me that red is a fake? Found one. Little shit. You know what, just for now, I'm going to catch this one, just to be on the safe side. So I have only two ball- I only have two Ultra Balls, so let's see if I'm lucky. I'll be damned! Uh, 60... Yeah, 67, because 65 was Bargon, 66 was Muck. Oh, now it's coming after me. And Dritter alert. And Dritter alert. Jesus, what the fuck? Um. I. I. Yeah, okay.
go. Kill number three. Get rid of Mr. Mind, because Mr. Mind's terrifying. Handle expedit expectation trainer battle exited abnormal abnormality uh, it's gotta be Mr. Mime March 11th. <clears throat> Let's do away with the prior ambitions. What if these genes were synthesized, were instead manifested in a genetic load of a human boy? No! No, no, no! What the fuck? <laughs> I was joking earlier. I was joking about the sexual innuendo earlier. Like, I. What the fuck? Oak? Also, I kind of like it right here. I'm going to leave it right there, so. Yes, a boy with those unique and unwavering qualities raised for Pokemon battle. He would not be subjected to the same limitations as a normal human trainer. Coldly and objectively, he could devise his battle strategies, push his Pokemon to their limits. Like a, disappo like a disappointed puppy, puppy master directly controlling their actions of his Pokemon from afar, as if by the click of a button. Dude, that is fucked up! Fuji and Shiki have taught me all I need. I will create this superhuman trainer on my own. And nobody is to know. No! No, 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 no! You're telling me that red, fucking red, is supposed to be a fucking... Okay, why did I stop? What the hell? Hang on, guys. Whoa. Hang on real quick. I'm going to turn on more lights here. Maybe that's what's causing. I may not have enough lighting. So the mouse isn't seen, so go. Just make sure I'm not like I can like I'm kind of constantly in the camera kind of a deal. Eh, this should work. Ah. 
still, what the fuck? Oh, uh, like, seriously, man. <clears throat> this is like all types of fucked up. June 3rd, 1985. Initial tests appear promising, but I cannot recreate the body of a full-grown living boy of battling age. The for, the for, for the clone to resemble a human well enough to fool the world, I will create my master trainer as an amigo, as an embryo, and let nature, nature take its course. A sterile local widow blindly devoted to me since our youth will happily agree to adopt him as his mother. Dude, what the fuck, Oak? Like, seriously, Oak? What the flying fuck, man? This shit's fucked up. Like, all kinds of fucked up. Of course, he will need a little nurturing for his genetic code to bloom as, an in, as intended. The purpose of his childhood would be important. Imprint would be to imprint only a, a single lesson: that I am a father figure he can trust, and that my word for his own good is law. What the fuck, Oak? Oh man, it just gives this just gives a whole new meaning to being a silent pro tag. Huh? Oh, are you kidding me? That little shit can jump that? Still, this is like all kinds of fucked up. Really? Statues 466. Unauthorized, uh, unauthorized entry. This ball is imminent. No, Red is not a Pokemon, but he's a clone. question is who is, like that is the question who is the original
Yeah, that's the better question. Who is the original? In all honesty, this is just like all kinds of fucked up. Man, I'm never gonna be able to play Pokemon Red or like the OG ones ever again. Like looking at it the same way. After this, like this is just all kinds of fucked up. Man, loading defeated me defeat message. You are a big loser. Um, I believe we have all these, so at this point there it would be letter A Dubson something, I don't fucking know. At this point, I want to I want to stay. All right, here we go. Next entry. August fifteenth, nineteen eighty-five. The Pokemon League Challenge is a ray of hope for many naive young trainers. Even if only one in a million ever stand a chance of being a cha being champion, fortunately, I can readily be a it can be readily exploited. As soon as he gives, as soon as he's given his Pokemon license, my clone will rise up the ranks at 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 unprecedented precipitant speed. Really, really fast. Gem leaders, criminal organizations, legendary Pokemon, they will be no match for him. They, they'll never see a child like this coming. They won't believe their eyes. Who was the original of that one though? Where did it sell, like who, who is, like who is Red's clone? Like who is the original? Who is Red a clone of? You too. I got a feeling it's Oak. At this point, I wouldn't put it past that because Oak's the only person here. Where else could he get in some DNA? You two escaped the Pokemon Mansion and put an end to that fiasco project. Kanto's military resources are running out. We can't afford this war any longer. Lance will not give in until he has my head on a pike and all of Kanto kneeling before him. It won't be. I will surrender my position as champion. 
Lance will be gleeful to take my place, and the public will shame me as a coward and a traitor. But they will let me live. And in ten years' time... I will wipe the grin off their concealed faces, Lance. Well, my boy has crushed you in fair official Pokemon battle. You will find his policies as champion less than friendly. Friendly towards the like of you. As a minor, the boy will gladly concede his political decisions to me. And, being his only male guardian, the people will have no choice but to comply. Kanto, Johto, the ends of the world. We will yield uh, unprecedented power. What human trainer could possibly stand in our way? Oh, a decade of public communication is a small price to pay, but when the time is right, I will return with a vengeance. Shit. Seriously? Right now? You know, I thought Oak was just going to create a second catastrophe or whatnot, but I was not expecting fucking red. Yeah, I guess the dungeon looped. I think that's Arya. No, Giovanni, please. I won't allow this. There is nothing you can say, darling. Leave me be. Grunt. You're here at last. I'm ashamed you should have to see me like this. I have been defeated in battle for the very last time. I cannot face my followers any longer. I've betrayed your trust. With the last scrap of honor I have left, it is time for me to move on. We've worn out our welcome in Kanto long ago. I think it's best if this were, if this were the end of Team Rocket. But I don't expect all of my admin and executive to agree. So, Grunt, you are free to keep wreck wrecking havoc on Kanto if you prefer. But whatever becomes of Team Rocket from here on out, it will be without me at the helm. <clears throat> I, I, won't, I won't have this insanity. All of our work, Giovanni, everything we stood for, over some child? Yes, a child, Ariana. A child who will soon rule the region without the slightest bloodlust to his name. And what have we achieved? We roused the anger and the support of, the, of who longed back the golden years of Kanto. 
and became the masters of the of its criminal underworld. But we, but we're no closer to our ultimate goal than we were ten years ago. I truly thought we had the clearest path to power laid out for us. I was lying to myself the whole time. That kid, from the first I've ever heard of him, he made me so angry. All my violent frustration, my bitterness. I didn't understand why he brought it all out of me. Didn't understand that he was making me see all too clearly the blind, stubborn weakling that I had become. But I do now, and so it is time for me to go. Grunt, I apologize for everything. Team Rocket will not rule Kanto. But perhaps... No, I won't say any more for now. Take this. As a final token of my appreciation, Grunt. I had such high hopes for you. It makes me proud how far you have come since I first called you into my office all that time ago. How long has it been? Like seriously, how long has this game been going on? Make the best of the power and the responsibility I've, I've given you. So long. It's about 70 hours. Two years. <laughs> no! Come back, you bastard! Well, yeah, obviously. I know the game clock, we did 70 hours, but, like, I'm talking about, like, I'm... Because I never, like, there was no passage of time. That's what I'm getting at, outside of reality. Don't you dare. Don't you dare run away. I hate you. You're the reason for everything that's bad. Excuse me. Be strong. It's what he would have wanted. Uh, what's in the briefcase? Inside was a sack of money? Ten thousand dollars! Oh fuck yeah! A letter is attached. Dear Grunt, I am not fit to lead Team Rocket any longer. My dim my criminal dig my criminal dignity will not allow it. I failed you, but you've Grunt. You've grown much stronger than any of us. As a Pokemon trainer, there is not a rocket in Kanto who measures up to you. And your honor is still intact. So with my blessing, do the things I should have done long ago. Go westward to the Indigo Plateau and take on the Elite Four. Deliver our revenge on Red, Lance, and Oak. Leave Team Rocket a lasting legacy in Kanto. Let them remember us. Use our infamy to its fullest. Then disband the organization for good. The contents of this briefcase are yours to keep. I am giving you all the power and pristine the criminal world has to offer. The power to steal from gym leaders, the elite full for and Pokemon champion. This is your fine. This is to be your final promotion. Regards, Giovanni. <laughs> I love how our hair slicks back. I would have. I would have liked the hair. My hair to keep in place. To be honest, that's what I would have wanted. I wanted my hair to stay in place. You're the new boss daddy now. <laughs> I guess so.
I wonder what happens if I were to walk in. Oh. Well now, do I laugh or cry, Grunt? I guess you really got it in close with Giovanni. For him to give you a promotion like that, now that me now that means much more anymore. Hmm. He told you to follow follow right up to the Elite Four and challenge them? That would be quite the challenge, even for you. But that's what what makes you wanted. I suggest you follow his command. I knew it. I knew it'd be you. He'd give you, give you the rank before he ran away. Humph. But rest assured, Grunt. Whatever acolytes Giovanni wanted to keep on you, you are not my boss. Because I don't have anyone. For now, I must guard the gym he left behind. And after that, I don't think I don't think you need to think about that. Very well. Well, what do you want, pal? <laughs> I am buying 95 of these assholes. Yeah, I don't need that many. I guess we challenge them now. I don't know. That's a bigger question, really. What if I could buy stuff now, actually? Can't buy anything. So then, this begs the question now. Since we raised up our bounty the most, and everything, should we return the Pokemon now to where we no longer have a high bounty? Because they stopped recording that, apparently. We don't know what our bounty is. Or, so that way we can... We, we returned some of the Pokemon, uh, quite a few of the Pokemon, so that way we can, you know, level up, we can buy stuff, enough to where we can buy stuff. Or, do we just continue onward and fight at a disadvantage, I guess? You know what I mean? So that's honestly the next big question. Now let's see what happens when we try to fight a gym though. Okay, I guess I need to get my license somehow. You know, that's a great question.
No, Oak's not here. So I guess we just go to the indigo? Hold on. Okay, yeah, so it literally is just a loop. Well, see, that just circles back around to my question then. You know, do we for, uh, to be able to access the shops, do we return? Because I think in order to get access to the top... Ooh, good point. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why am I running? I can just fly. Not at Ronnie's. I mean, he's not at Red Tiles. Uh. You know what? Let, let's. Fuck it, now. I'm going in. Out of my way if you know what's good for you. Giovanni? No. Oh, it's Lance. No. You're just dressed as one of... Uh, you're just more... Just one of his more well-dressed goons, aren't you? Off to lose some exotic Pokemon from traveling Victory Road trainers? I'll say. That's a real menace to sit to safety for league challenges. And most despicably, not my problem anymore. Decidedly, not my problem anymore. Well, haven't you heard, Bum? Ha! Then I'll spare you the effort of burgling the newest, the newsstand tomorrow. It's over. I am no longer champion. Shit! Ah, oh, shit. Fucking Oaks in power. A decade of unchallenged reign. Gone in an instant. By some... God, I can't even say it. What will my grandfather think? Some little kid from some middle... Some middle of nowhere town? It's positively absurd. Absurd. Hey! And what are you do and what are you so smug about for? Don't go thinking that some po that some political victory for you, silly for you silly bunch of anarchists now. Entitled delusional delinquents all Team Rocket ever was. This changes nothing. Ugh. I thought nothing could aggravate me any further today. But you've done it, punk. I don't care about the region. The region soon breaks apart now that this farm boy is champion. I'll show you how a real leader deals with the criminals like you. Sure, yeah, can I take a Dragonite? Ah, crap baskets.
Mm, you're gonna have ice beam. I can feel it. So. Don't have any form of thunders either. Hello. Yeah, that was quick. Should I, should I, tr should I try it, guys? Should I try the thing? Should I give this a shot? Ooh, I, I wanna, I'm kind of curious what could happen. Super glitch! should have happened that quick that quickly but whatever I guess Exacto, okay. A rock flying type. Cool. Number 40. Funny enough, I have an Aerodactyl already. Lol. Ah, shit. Okay, that's a fair hit. But my head's harder. <laughs> dragon air! You don't have Dragon Knight yet. Uh, actually, let's leave it. Because I don't... Um, here, please. Recover. I can work with that.
is the one I'm looking for. Should I go for the Dragon Air? That's level 51? Or go for the Dragon Air? That's level 48, guys. I'm hallucinating. Oh, I actually got money for once. Um, yeah, I'm tied between Dragonair because it's level 51, but Dragon Knight is already fully evolved. I do have a lot of choices. Hmm. See, the, um, the reason why I'm tied between Dragonair and Dragon Knight is because. With Dragon Air, it would evolve naturally into the Dragon Knight at level 55, which is only four levels. And I feel like I'm like I might it would learn something along the way. Versus if I were to just go for Dragon Knight, yeah, it's already stronger than the majority of my team, but it is also like a, like a level event disadvantage. So I might just go for Dragon Air. Sixty-eight or sixty-nine? I think he's sixty-nine. But if so, ha <laughs> ha! Nice, nice. Hmm. Fuck it. My, my dragon air. How could this happen? I'll need to have it replaced. You already have a dragon knight. Unbelievable. Punk like you? Ah. I need to find my composure again. I'm letting my emotions ruin my battle strategy. I'll have you know, Mr. Ma Mafia, so I could have taken you all out ago, out a long ago. I knew about your little game corner hideout. It's not as if an, my new anti-crime law did anything to stop you. I didn't mean them to. Mean them to. I wanted to wait for you to cause a real public spectacle. Arrest and punish you all as a headline news to make a statement. To please the crowds, restore faith in me. And to show my doubters just how mad all gangs like yours are. That still long to return to a pre-war canto. Your Sith Corps invasion was the perfect opportunity. I was going to rush in at the last minute and give your boss a beating and save the day. But by the time I arrived, it seems someone had already beat me to it. Well, 
What done is done. I'm not finished with Kanto yet. I still have a position to defend. I am a member of the Elite Four now, you see. New re new responsibilities. <laughs> so, so excuse me while I go change the new champion's diapers. He's number 70. Um, who to replace for 69? Hmm. I really don't know. It's a pure dragon type, if I recall. Yeah, pure dragon. So, I really don't know. Uh, I'm gonna think about that one real quick, guys. I'm gonna be right back and use the restroom, so... I'm gonna run a one-minute ad break real quick, so I'll be right back.
Okay, okay, I am back. Okay, um, so I had thought about it, and honestly, I can't really think of anyone decent to lose other than Buddy Enough number 63, because, or 60, yeah, 63, because Buddy Enough, it just, that last fight was just, I don't know, it just, something did not click right with it for me, you know? I don't know, it, it's hard to think of, because honestly, we kind of, I kind of got attached to everyone so far. Say for Magneton, but that's a different story. Um, but if we were to go based off level alone, thirteen would be the one that we toss. Thirteen would be the one we would switch out. But eh, I have a feeling we're gonna run into a lot of electrical and such. Yeah, I can't think of anyone other than 63, really. Let's see. I mean, it does have a high special attack, so I guess that's probably worth keeping, I guess. their stats. Mm. Yeah, I don't know who to get rid of. Or swap out with, really. Mm. Screw it. Let's just... Actually, no. No, no, no. I know who I'm going to swap out. Sorry, my champ. You're a badass, but... I think he's weaker than... Golem. And he's, and he's a higher level. Never mind, I lied. Type coverage. I gotta go with the type coverage. being able to go in. Halt! You can pass here only if you have the boulder badge. Wait a minute. You! Are you even a real tra trainer? 
Sold me a license. No, I thought so. I've dealt with people like you before. Be gone. We don't allow criminals in the Pokemon League. <laughs> nah. <laughs> hey now. I guess you're in a bit... You're a bit... Uh, tougher than most thugs. B but rules are rules. If you don't leave, I'll see that the league is defend is defending myself. Ah, so that's what they want you to do. Am I about ready to eat my own? Oh, fairy types of thing. Okay, never mind. My choice still stands, apparently. <laughs> Second Arcanine? Really, dude? Th this is unheard of! Oh, come on, at least you have to give him like four, at least 4k. Rumble or Knocked Owl, guys? Ah, fuck, what am I getting? Grumble. Licensed Pokemon trainers can challenge the Pokemon League. This is as far as you go. <laughs> oh, you're just delightful, aren't you? No, I forgot to switch out again. I really need to focus on that. Make him my strong. He needs to become stronger.
God damn it. Have an RK9 actually? Do I? Mm. I mean, I know I don't have a dog towel, so. You got me question thinking, buddy. I gotta go back real quick. Excuse me. The Indigo Plateau. The go for all train. Oh, I was. Oh, he has something different. Dilly was fr uh, fraud at stirs like he was an insult. Lol? I had it. I was like twisting my neck to feel like I had like a sore spot.
<laughs> oh, no, no. No, I don't have a rev dash. Oh, I didn't swap out. Damn it. Okay, so finally another dark type it looks like. Okay, yeah, no, 70, okay, yeah. Dumbasses. Halt. The influx of traveling trainers to see the new champion does not mean we're slacking off. The league has no place for types like you. Well, you're an asshole, so. Well, you're an asshole. Ooh, a right on. Okay. Big shot, but at a cost. for both of those who are messing up a speed.
Ah, damn it, Ursa Ring. Damn it, I guess I should have left the champion, I guess. Eh, whatever. <laughs> it's a disguise. Uh, it's not gonna bad some bad choices. I'm taking a right on. That's what I'm here for, to lead four. Halt! These po the Pokemon Gym Challenges are made to be fair for all you crook. Who do you think you are? The rules and the play. It's gonna apply to you. <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm the leader of, G of Team Rocket. If you think you can stop me, please go ahead and try. At least number 13 is finally ca is catching up at least, so... Bye. 
you to a little acrobats. What a way to live! I'll be taking one. I'll be taking your houndoom now, please. <laughs> However, you are now number 74. Oh, let's stop for a second and survive somehow. your sense of being polite. Uh, 
Bring me that Pokemon. The Doduo or... I do have a max elixir. Bring me that Pokemon. Halt. I don't mind you rockets that much. Frankly, but keep it low. Ahem. Stand back, criminal. Do I speak French? Ah, mi fa, mi parlo bien français. Ah, le quoi? Ah, but keep little. I forget. It's been a while. I, I took French in college, so. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. Jean Marcel Hotezak, come on. Stronger, anyways. <laughs> King Wolf gets it. Only one can last this. Leave it. I'm bleeding my arm right now, my elbow, because I think it's... Ah, man, my elbow's killing me right now. Oh, and shame on you! Uh-huh. I'll take your Pajot. I don't have a Pajot yet, so... Oh, 
Oh man, that rappel started to really fuck me up. <laughs> Let's walk around a little bit to where we can get rid of it. Hold on, let me uh, do a reset here. yourself all this way. You're walking straight into the jaws of the Elite Four rocket. Mark my words, you'll be in jail by sundown. <laughs> oh, you think you can intimidate me? Please, do try and entertain me. Okay, so Scarberry might be an issue. I should probably should have healed number 69. Oh well. Oh, you dick. Ah, fair. That one, that one I asked for it. That one was my bad. I went straight for that one. Thinking I could be fat. Thinking I could go for it.
Ah, crap. This dragon is gonna really annoying. So in other words, we're gonna shoot away. Come back, number 13. Skarmory. Number... 
Excuse me. Yeah, let's do this one. Heavy ball. Normal type. Uh, let's give it to 69. <laughs> Oh good, they got rid of strength, so I actually don't need it. Awesome. Ooh, Dragon Claw. And a rare candy, nice. Um Hang on, I wanna check if I have a TM for a thunder or something. Focus punch, dragon claw, dig, aerial ace. Nope. No thunderbolt.
Ha, nic. No but it's smacking with your acrobatics. And a hair cross, huh? Not gonna lie, not the Pokemon I would have anticipated, to be honest. Fuck. Oh. I need now. Okay, sandstone, star, not a bad choice. Give me your Pokemon. Let me have them all. <laughs> Why do you have a person when you're a Never mind, that makes way too much sense actually. Six and nine have him or them. So... Ooh, starting to fall asleep here. <laughs>
<laughs> Is Victory Road too tough? Oh, please. Victory Road has barely been a challenge. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it, Shadow Tag. Well, with that either, so that is number eighty three. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. I am exhausted, so uh, let's go ahead and see if we can find a live streamer to pass on to real quick. Right here. Got quite a few people live right now. Who's live right now? Savannah, Sarah Bear, Nicole, Nico. Um, Nico's playing Hogwarts Legacy, so. in over there so excuse me I haven't seen Sarah Bear in a while let's go let's go bug Sarah Bear yeah night guys so all right so you guys know the drill by now like always Hashtag heart raid. Alright guys, so thank you so much for guys for being a part of this live stream again as always. Uh man, it, oof, this is, uh, I don't even know why I got so tired all of a sudden. But I hope you got but I hope you guys enjoyed this one was a thriller for sure. Oh man. <laughs> I was not expecting like half the stuff to, to have happened, but uh, thank you for all and thanks to all our sponsors and all that guys make sure to check all that down below You know how this goes by now. So in the meantime, my name is Harzak Remind you guys to always game on rage on laugh on and repeat catch you guys tomorrow <laughs>